Hello, how are you guys today? I'm gonna to show you my current morning routines that I do to keep my energy up as well as help me recover uh, from the liver damage from the carnivore diet. Now we've done these individually over the course of the last year or two, but today in this video, I'm gonna show you all of them currently up to date. We have the uh, testicle uh, protocol for testosterone, which makes a huge difference for my energy levels. Uh, we have the detox smoothie with the soluble fiber and the flextrose, and then we just have the regular energy boost in the morning with the magnesium and vitamin C supplement. So let me show you guys what we have. So here we just have the goat testicles from Frankie's Free Range Meat. We are going to take one out. I'm gonna show you guys how I prepare it, and more importantly, how I consume it, especially if you know, you're not one to kind of eat raw things and you're kind of squeamish with the flavors. I mean, especially you know, first thing in the morning, who likes to taste the raw testicle? So for me, uh, I usually do half of a whole one. If you're using like a larger beef testicle, obviously you'd use like a quarter, or if you have a smaller testicle, maybe you'd use the whole one. So we dice it up with a sharp knife, then I'm gonna take like a more heavy duty knife and just kind of chop through it. And this is because we're gonna swallow this down, we're not gonna chew it, you know? So we want it to be kind of mushy for our stomach to digest it easier. And you don't really wanna put this in the blender because you know, you'll start oxidizing everything. And if you guys haven't done this before, start with like maybe this much, max. Don't eat the whole thing. You want your stomach to adjust to this. So. After you do it a few times with a smaller amount, then you can uh, have a larger amount. All right, guys, so here's the trick. As much as I've been eating you know, raw meat for years and years and I don't mind the flavor, it's not something I enjoy. You know, no one enjoys eating this stuff, even if you, know, you can eat it and chew it and down it. Got my spoon, we have our testicle chopped up, and then I have some masticum here with some water. So what I'm gonna do is just hold my nose so I don't taste the testicle. I'm gonna swallow it down, and I'm gonna take the masticum, rinse my mouth with it, swallow it down, all while still holding my nose, so then after I swallow the masticum and I release my nose, I don't taste it. So let's give this a shot. So as I'm swallowing this down with my nose held down, I don't taste it at all. So we swallowed all the testicle. Now we have about a teaspoon of masticum. Actually, you know what? You wanna take about half a teaspoon. You don't wanna to take too much of this. Okay. Now when I release my nose, I literally do not taste anything besides the a little bit of masticum. Now, the masticum is ground into a powder. We have this on uh, organsupplements.com. I just use a spice grinder, coffee grinder, which is on my Amazon shop to, to make it into a powder. And uh, you really just wanna make sure, this is the spice grinder, Mueller, amazon.com slash shop slash Frank Tefano. Just make sure when you put that half teaspoon of masticum in your mouth to swish it around really well with the water so that it kind of gets rid of all the taste of the testicle. So that is basically the easiest way how anyone can have a raw glandular without tasting it whatsoever. Very simple. Just hold your nose, swallow it down, and then have the masticum. Honestly, it's really not that unpleasant. It's just you know, first thing in the morning, I'd, I'd prefer not to taste it. So that's the testosterone protocol. I do that um, outside of other things. Like maybe I'll have some magnesium and vitamin C in an hour or two, which we'll show you next. Um, but I like to keep it separate. Uh, you know, if you're a female, you can do ovaries. I think we still have some left on Frankie's Um I also like to do adrenal separately. I don't do everything all together. Uh, but you know, I'll say again, this is so, so important for my energy levels, guys. 
if I don't do this, after about a week and a half, two weeks, I start getting like physically fatigued. You know, so with my liver damage, hormones, lack of sleep, stress, I'm not producing as much testosterone as I should. So this really kind of keeps the physical energy levels up and, and kind of keeps me uh, going, so to speak. Very, very important um, for just pure energy levels. It's the most important thing I do. Most important thing by far, you know. And that's why we're showing you guys this first in this video is because this is the most important thing we're going to do today. Uh, so we'll see you guys for the next morning routine. What's up, guys? Good morning for the second time. I keep all of these routines separate for fairly different reasons. When I have those raw testicles, I really want them to absorb and digest over the course of several hours as the sole thing in my stomach. So I really get all of those testosterone and glandular benefits. Now we're doing the liver detox smoothie, which I have showed you guys before. And the purpose of this is to accelerate the liver detox by what I'm guessing is 10 to 30%. This is very significant. I just don't do it enough because you know it's a little time consuming and sometimes I'm lazy in the morning. But this could literally be the difference, you know, from taking five years to detox down to four years. So very, very significant. I think it needs to be done, uh, you know, three to five times a week to have that effect because the amount of fiber that's in this, the soluble fiber, is the main thing that promotes the liver detox. So uh, some of you guys might remember this because, again, we did a video on it, I think, over a year ago now. But let's give you a quick look. Uh, so I got this Nutribullet for free. I mean, I think the thing is a piece of crap, but it's a lot easier to clean than a regular blender. So we're just going to put some filtered mineral water in here. I have some lemons. We have the Flextrose from Frankie's Free Range Foods. We have acacia powder, soluble fiber, and then we have inulin powder, artichoke, soluble fiber, a little bit of salt. And we have our mastic gum that we want to take with this because it's pure sugar and we don't want to cause like dysbiosis. Uh, the salt, a little bit of added flavor, and the lemons also add some antiscorbutic properties, some vitamin C. So I'll put the mastic gum on the side for now. This is not going in the smoothie. It's just going to be consumed after we drink it. You don't have to put salt in this. I just like a tiny pinch because it actually, you know, this tastes good and it brings out the flavor. So we'll do about a tablespoon of the artichoke fiber, two tablespoons of the acacia fiber. And this is to me, this one tastes the best and it's very, very important. So if you guys are unfamiliar with Flextrose, we launched it a few years ago. It's a pure glucose powder and glucose actually directly detoxes the liver. So we're gonna do two tablespoons of glucose and glucose is not as sweet as sugar. So it's not gonna be like adding, you know, pure fructose or pure sugar to this. It doesn't sweeten it up that much. All right, we got our steel lemon squeezer after the uh, other one snapped into like three different pieces from squeezing a big lemon. If you don't have lemons, you could do a little bit of ascorbic acid in here. That's just as good. It also adds some acidity and some flavor. So we're doing two lemons. Now we'll go over to my outlet over here and We'll blend it a little bit, shake it up, blend a little bit more, shake it up, we should be good. Now the fill line here for mixing usually isn't enough water for the amount of powder I add, so I'm just going to put a little more water in here and then just shake it up a tiny bit more. So we don't just have the smoothie guys, first I do half a teaspoon of mastic gum again to just prevent h pylori overgrowth because when you're having like a pure sugar drink like this it's pretty easy to cause candida dysbiosis if you have liver damage if you're susceptible to uh the overgrowth so a little bit of mastic gum and i do take uh, vitamin c and magnesium one vitamin c two magnesium uh, with this smoothie And then we'll just kind of drink and chug this down. I won't normally hydrate the mornings that I do this because I can't drink that much fluid at once. So now I'm hydrated and I've stimulated some liver detox, 
with the glucose and then the soluble fiber, the fiber is going to kind of absorb those toxins. And as I hydrate throughout the rest of the morning, earlier part of the day, it's just a really, really good way to, to accelerate the body's healing. This is a safe amount to do. You know, if you double the amount of powders I put in here, you might be fine, but that's gonna make you more prone to the gut imbalances, possibly candida fungal overgrowth, uh, as well as maybe make you uh, poop your pants. So just be pretty careful with the amounts and experiment with them before you go higher, uh, especially this and the mastic gum. So uh, we're just gonna show you guys one more routine and wrap it up. Good morning for the third time, guys. And I actually showed you uh, this routine in the video I did a week or two ago, my full supplement routine. And we also just did this uh, for the smoothie, the liver detox smoothie. Just taking the vitamin C and magnesium. This is what I do most days because I just want to wake up and get out the door and go to work. So it's just one of the vitamin C capsules, two of the magnesium capsules, and then I hydrate a lot with just bottled mineral water. I usually try to drink about half a bottle of this and then another half a bottle over the course of the morning just to really hydrate my cells, hydrate my tissues. The magnesium, I notice a big difference in mental clarity is very helpful against the EMF radiation and the vitamin C is important for antioxidants. So almost forgot. I do take masticum as part of that third routine as well, because when you go to bed at night, you know, you're lying down, your gut motility is really low. And the reason I wake up in the morning with a headache a lot of the time is because that toxic bile is just sitting in my stomach. Having the masticum in the morning promotes the movement and like kind of detox of the bile duct as well. Not as much as the smoothie, but you know, just hydrating really well can do that. I've just noticed that, you know, sometimes also when that food's sitting, I do get a little bit of dysbiosis. So very helpful to have the masticum on an empty stomach in the morning. Um, also same thing like at night, an hour or two after the meals, just consistently throughout the day in small amounts, keeps digestion consistent. So those are the three things I currently do in the morning that you guys don't see a lot of the time in my days of eating. The testosterone, I try to do once every two weeks. I mean, once a week would probably benefit me a little more, but as long as it's at least every two weeks, I feel pretty good. I keep the physical energy. The liver detox smoothie, honestly, I haven't been doing it as much as I should, uh, just because again, I, I get lazy in the morning, but you know, I, I wanna heal as quickly as possible. And doing that at least two or three times a week would really help accelerate the healing process. And then that last routine is just the supplements I take pretty consistently every morning. You know, sometimes I'll throw a few uh, different things in there, like a B complex, a vitamin B9, a vitamin B1, depending on how I'm feeling. But the hydration with the magnesium and the vitamin C is always consistent, really wakes up my brain in the morning, gives me a little bit of energy. So thank you guys for joining me today. We have the testicles on frankiesarrangemeat.com, flexdose powder, frankiesarrangemeat.com. You can get the other stuff at like Whole Foods or a natural grocer, also online, I think. And then all the supplements that you guys saw are on organsupplements.com. So thank you guys for joining and continuing to support me. All of those businesses can be seen on frank defilecom But as usual, guys, please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Thanks again, guys, and I'll see you soon. Thank you.